baby. Come on in. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Definitely want to start the day off with some gratitude. Thanking the Lord for the blessings that we receive and thanking him for another beautiful day. So let's go, people. It's Transformation Thursday. You're probably wondering why I have a New York hat and a Boston hat. Well, ironically, I am a Boston Red Sox fan and a New York Giants fan. Don't judge. Don't judge. See, you know, in New England, we get to choose. We get to choose what we want to roll with. So, guys, having fun today. Thanks, to, Thank you guys for, you know, being part of my network and uh, I'm really inspiring me. I just love uh, the network that I'm a part of and just seeing all of the posts and all the comments and all the things that's going on. And, you know, in this day and age, it's really about what you surround yourself by. And I love the fact that we get to pick and choose, right? If we don't like what's on our news feeds and on our uh, social media threads, then you know what? We must remove those parties of, of individuals that are posting those things. And what will happen is, is that, you know what? The social media dilemma, right? Can be worked in our favor. All right. So on this transformation Thursday, what I want to talk about is emotional needs. Okay. And this was a really big one for me when I learned about how and why I respond the way I respond to things. And sometimes, you know, we think that our responses, our reactions are, uh, are based on intellectual um, information and it's not really. That's like the secondary thing. Like the first thing is, is like, how does this make me feel? If I make this decision, how does it make me feel? If I choose this person to talk to, how does this make me feel? If I post this on social media, how is it going to make me feel? Right? So everything is based on emotion and the need that we have attached to it. Right? So there's a few, you know, emo emotional needs and things like that, but I'm not going to get too technical. I'll let Tony Robbins do that. But what I want to say is, is that we must be aware of the emotions that we attach to our decisions and why we sometimes do things that don't always serve us as far as results on the outside or maybe uh, results financially, but it's because emotionally we're not adjusting and readjusting. And so what I want to bring to, to today is, is more of the emotional awareness and saying, whoa, right? How can I be a better thermostat versus a thermometer? Okay. And what I mean by that is how can you set the gauge to what it is that you want to feel like and then create the environment versus just being a thermometer where you're just taking the temperature of the environment and whatever the environment is, right? And just walking through that motion and saying, man, I really feel like crap. I really don't feel good. I really don't like the way I feel, but yet I keep doing these same things. Why? Well, it's because you're not actually creating, you're just reacting, all right? And it's an emotional thing, okay? Because sometimes we get caught on certainty, all right. Or we get caught on significance or we get caught on, you know, the identity or what others expect of us. And so we feel that that makes us feel good. But really, when it comes down to it and you're staring in the mirror and you're like, well, who am I? and Why am I? You really don't know because everything that you've decided is based on other people's opinions. Right. So just be more aware of that. That's what's helped me to kind of put myself into an alignment. All right. With everything that I do and everything that I'm involved in, it has a purpose. It has a reason. And everything that I do fulfills me. And if it doesn't, I got a question. Well, what is this worth? Why would I do it? If it doesn't fulfill me, it doesn't make me feel good inside, then I must change it. And then all of a sudden, boom, turns back on, the passion is back and going and bang, you know, it's just an amazing thing. So on this transformational th Thursday, definitely be patient with yourself and just be more aware, you know, of the emotional stories that you're attaching to things and be careful, be careful that you don't just react but you actually respond. Be more of a thermostat and set your gauge in the temperature that you want to be in, feel comfortable and feel amazing versus just being a thermometer and just taking the gauge and saying, oh shoot, I need a coat. Oh shoot, I can take the coat off, right? Make sense? All right, guys. God bless y'all. Have a fantastic Thursday. Let's finish strong. I love y'all. Peace.